Sepsis is a life-threatening condition that arises when the body's response to an infection damages its own tissues and organs. Sepsis can be caused by any type of infection, bacterial, viral, fungal, even parasites. Most cases, appropriately assessed and managed, won't lead to sepsis, but it's not always easy to determine when and how quickly sepsis might occur. What should you do if you think you might have sepsis? Well, sepsis is a condition that needs urgent treatment. It can cause serious complications or death. You should seek medical help. This could be via your local doctor, via Health Direct, or via triple zero for an ambulance if very concerned. Ask directly, could this be sepsis? The signs of sepsis in adults can include fast breathing or feeling breathless, a fast heartbeat, fever or chills, sometimes even a low body temperature, low or no urine, nausea, vomiting or diarrhea, headache and sometimes rashes, feeling tired, confused or sleepy. People often describe that they're feeling the worst they have ever felt or they are not improving or getting very sick very quickly. Sometimes it's a subtle change in several signs. Often it's a combination of multiple signs. Sepsis can affect anyone. However, some people are at greater risk than others, including older people. This can be because of chronic conditions such as diabetes and cancer, or other medical conditions that affect your heart, your lungs, your kidneys, or your immune system. Malnutrition or endocrine disorders may be factors in some older adults. Sepsis is a serious illness and it can be more difficult to predict and diagnose in older people. Some of the more common signs and symptoms may be blunted or harder to recognize because of underlying conditions such as dementia. Adults can reduce their risk of sepsis by a number of ways. Good and consistent hygiene, such as hand washing, avoiding people with infection where possible, keeping up to date with your vaccinations, care for any wounds that you might have, maintaining your health, such as taking your usual medications. It's important for older people to be aware of their underlying medical conditions and to have up-to-date information regarding their medications, including their dosages, and to know if they have any allergies. Having ready access to this information can be a great benefit should you need to pass it on to those providing care.